guys, this is Erica from figureskatereviews.com and adultskate2.com and today I'm going to be reviewing the John Wilson Gold Seal Blade. Alright, so let's go over the basics of this blade first. This blade features an 8 foot rocker. It's got a cross cut toe pick which is excellent for extra grip on your toe jumps. It's got a tapered blade, meaning towards the tail, it gets skinnier, which helps with your edge stability and jump takeoffs. It also features a solid plate, which gives the blade extra strength. These blades also have a higher heel stanchion to give you more clearance on the ice as well. So I've been using gold seals for about three years now. I switched over from Powder 99 blades to just try something different. My friends all told me that the Gold Seal Rocker Profile supposedly helps with your spins and my spins could use some extra work, so I wanted to try them out and see how they compared to Pattern 99. So basically, the reason why people say that Gold Seals give you better spins or help your spins is because the Rocker Profile is completely different on this blade compared to a Pattern 99, even though they're both eight foot rockers. So the reason why is because the gold seal has a 12 foot rocker near the toe pick and then it goes to eight foot rocker. Whereas the pattern 99 is a little bit different in the fact that it has a 12 foot rocker in the very front, then it goes to 27 foot, which is a lot flatter, and then it goes to eight foot. So because of that, these just have a curvier profile near the toe pick, which helps you with spins. So the first day that I got on the ice with these blades, I'm not gonna lie, I felt like a baby giraffe. These are way curvier than a Pattern 99, so it definitely took some getting used to. However, after about a day or two, I was adjusted to the blades and it wasn't really that big of a deal. I feel like these blades definitely helped with my spins and finding that sweet spot so I could really keep them centered and controlled. I'm not saying that Pattern 99 can't give you good spins, it's just everybody has a personal preference and for me, these just helped out with my spins a lot better. I also really liked the huge toe picks on the Pattern 99, however, when I switched to the Gold Seal, I didn't really notice a difference in my toe pick gripping stability, I guess you could say. These do have a cross cut toe pick which helps with the grip you know, considering they are a lot smaller. I feel like these toe picks are really comparable to the Coronation Ace toe picks, just, you know, slightly more aggressive. So I had no issues really switching over from such a large toe pick to something smaller. So the recommended skill level for these blades is skaters doing doubles, triples, quads, basically a super advanced skater. However, I'm an adult silver skater, so I'm doing all of my singles, trying to get my axle <laughs> one day. And you know, I might not need such a high level blade, but I just really love how it feels compared to everything else that I've used. I mean, this is pretty much the top of the line blade you can get from John Wilson right now. And the advantages outweigh the cost for me personally. I think these are totally worth it. I've had friends that I've convinced to switch over to gold seals that just absolutely love it. I mean, it's like night and day compared to their previous blades that they were using, whether they, be, they were a stock blade or like a Coronation Ace or something like that. So, I mean, you really can't go wrong with these. I can't think of one complaint that I have about these blades. So what's the difference between the standard blade and the Revolution? So basically there's a couple of differences, but it's not super significant in my opinion. So first of all, you're going to have lighter weight because of the carbon composite. It just weighs less. And I did actually weigh these before this video to see the comparison in the weight and including the boot because I can't detach the blades in the boots and it is the same exact boot. The standard blade weighed two pounds and three ounces and the Revolution weighed two pounds and three tenths of an ounce. So they technically are a little bit lighter. Can I feel it when I'm out on the ice? Not really. I mean, I'm sure if I wore one of each or switched, you know, back and forth super quickly between the two sets, I would feel a difference, but it's pretty minimal. I feel like with paired with these ice flies, they're already pretty lightweight. So I don't really have any complaints about how heavy my boots are. Also revolutions have shock absorption when you land your jumps. Again, I don't really feel that too, too much because I already have shock absorbers inside of my skates. So another feature about both of these blades is they are both actually parabolic. 
I have had parabolic blades for the last two sets of skates that I had, and then previous to that I had the regular gold seals. So what's parabolic? Parabolic basically means that the blade gets skinnier towards the middle. So what they say the benefits are with that is it helps you center your weight over your blade, which makes your turns a lot more effortless, smooth, sharp. It's really hard to explain how it feels. I know it's kind of controversial because some people say that they feel a difference. Some people say it's a gimmick. For me personally, I've gone back and forth between blades so many times, you know, parabolic and regular, that I can feel a difference. I just feel like my edges are way crisper, sharper. I'm just like into the ice a lot more than I am with the regular style blade. Is parabolic worth it? For me, yes. It is an extra upcharge, so it depends on how much money you wanna spend, if you wanna really make that leap and see if you like it or not. But for me, I really like the parabolic. I feel like parabolic also stays sharp for a really long time, but really overall, in general, with this blade itself, these are gonna stay sharp for a really long time. They're made by John Wilson, which is a really well-known brand. They're made of the highest quality steel, so they're gonna last you a long time. You won't have to get these sharpened super often. Okay, so let's go over costs for this blade. The regular gold seal is gonna cost you about 625 US dollars. If you wanna add parabolic, it's gonna cost you about $675. So there is about a $50 upcharge that you have to pay in order to try out the parabolic feature. For revolutions, these are gonna run you about $750, which is another pretty big price hike for the added technology of having the lightweight and shock absorption features on the Revolution. Regardless of which style gold seal that you choose, I really think that you would love it. These are just such a high quality blade, so obviously my scores for these are gonna be pretty high. So for value, I'm gonna give these a five out of five. Yes, they're pricey, but you really can't get better than this. Out of all of the blades that I've tried so far, these are definitely my number one. For quality, I'm also gonna give these a five out of five. They're made by John Wilson, so they're made by a really well-known blade manufacturer. For lifespan, I'm also gonna give these a five out of five. Like I said before, these blades are made out of really high quality carbon steel, so they're very hard, they're gonna hold their edges, they're gonna last a long time. I personally like to go, you know, I would say about every four to five weeks if I'm skating frequently, I'll go to get them sharpened just because I prefer to have them super sharp. But I've known people to go like an entire year without sharpening them and they're fine. I mean, they probably need to get them sharpened by then, but they last a really long time. So the lifespan on these is great. For feel, I'm also gonna give these a five out of five because they're my favorite. You know, I really liked my Powder 99s. I used those for a really long time. But for me personally, I prefer the curvier rocker towards the toe pick. I think it makes my spins feel a little bit better. Are they actually better? I would like to think so, but I just like how they feel. They're my favorite. So overall, these blades get a five out of five. I feel bad like giving them a perfect score, but honestly, they are perfect for me. Again, it's a personal thing. Some people might like them, some people might not. I know some people are switching from gold seals to pattern 99s and other brands. So you really have to try what's best for you and see how you like it. So in the future, I'm gonna be reviewing some blades from other manufacturers as well to compare them to these blades to see how they really are. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you learned something new about the John Wilson Gold Seal Blade. Stay tuned for future videos featuring other blades, boots, brands, all that good stuff. Make sure you give this video a like and hit subscribe so you don't miss any future figure skate reviews videos. Happy skating!